done. There's 300 people building out that emergency capacity here at the Denver Convention Center. The conventions are and the trade shows are, are canceled for many months to come, uh, as you know, and, and this building and this facility is extremely well situated uh, because it, it normally has construction and teardown on a regular basis. Hold on. They got 300 people working here, and you're about to tell, you're about to hear him tell that they've got 300 beds that they'll hopefully have done in eight days. 300 people, 300 beds, eight days. What the fuck kind of sense does that make? But here, we'll go on. This building and this facility is extremely well situated uh, because it, it normally has construction and teardown on a regular basis, uh, and now it's simply construction of a different type. The work just began about 48 hours ago. Uh, there will be... What? 48 hours ago? Come on. That's 10 days to build 300 beds. 300 fucking beds by 300 people. Have you ever put a bed together? It will take you approximately an hour max. Even if you don't read the instructions. Come on now. 95% of the people doing this work are Coloradans. At least 95% of the people on a regular basis. Uh, and now it's simply construction of a different type. The work just began about 48 hours ago. Uh, there will be several hundred beds completed uh, by April 18th. 300 people are here at work. 95% of the people doing this work are Coloradans. At least 95% of the people doing this work. Uh, and it's an example of Colorado leading the way. Uh, we will, if we're successful staying at home, wearing masks when we go out, uh, we will reach the day when once again uh, you can come here for... Uh, uh, and this lady, I don't know what know, she's doing. Or Star Trek convention or a home and garden show or for work or um, to, uh, to purchase the good... Our, our hearts go out to the families and friends and loved ones of everybody affected. 32,653 people have been tested. And, of course, we mourn victims of all ages, but to highlight how this, this virus can strike down anybody in itself to provide a garden show or for work or um, to, uh, to purchase the goods you need for your store as a retailer, we know we're not at that day right now, and this facility lends itself to provide that extra capacity we need to relieve some of our hospitals. An update on where we are in Colorado, uh, 6,508 cases, uh, about 1,300 hospitalizations, 241 death. Okay, so about 1,300 hospitalizations, 1,300. This place is being turned into for 300. Now, as you can see here, there are over a hundred hospitals and health systems in Colorado. Covering every corner of the state and offering a wide range of high quality services. Hmm. If there's over a hundred hospitals and thirteen hundred people, how many people are in the hospital? What? Thirteen? You mean a hospital can't handle 13 people? Some a little less, some a little more, probably? No. These motherfuckers have imploded these fucking numbers and, ex well, exploded these fucking numbers to be fucking out of the goddamn... out of their damn minds. Combining leading-edge technology and a high... A highly skilled workforce, Colorado hospitals provide care to more than 555,000. Inpatient. And 9 million outpatients each year. 
holy shit. That means that they could easily take on the state's issues. Because how many people live in the state of Colorado? Hold on. Let's pull that up. Hmm. Colorado. Population 2020. Let's go to that. Six million. Hmm. Now there's six million people. The hospitals do nine million outpatients each year. Five hundred fifty-five thousand inpatients a year, but yet they can't handle the coronavirus without having to build extra facilities. Y'all need to start standing the fuck up. Because, hold on, you got your media doing this shit. Okay, I've held my tongue about this COVID-19 insanity, but I've seen and used my face to report out lies, outright lies that continue to incite this mass hysteria around the issue. All bets are off. My son starts blowing up my phone today saying, Dad, you're on the news about the coronavirus. I was completely confused. So I find out that while reporting on the conditions in San Francisco as a result of the virus, they use footage of me and others during Hurricane Harvey. Hurricane motherfucking Harvey. In Houston. Where's Houston? Is Houston in California? No. Houston, we have a problem. San Francisco's stealing your shit. They in Houston lined up outside of Kroger's on Westmer near the Beltway. CNN is using my face to present misleading journalism and continues to seriously impact our economy and the everyday decision of their decision making the public. That is not okay. Huh. How about this? Y'all might like this. Because this is what needs to fucking happen. Y'all know Tripp's been talking about it. But still, ain't enough sheepies getting out of the goddamn flock. Coronavirus in Ohio. In Ohio. In Ohio. Protesters gather outside State House to criticize shutdowns. Wow. My constitutional rights are essential. Freedom is essential. Uh, Ohio dies when government lies. You will be held accountable for civil and constitutional violations. We do not consent. That's what that one says. Around 75 protesters gathered outside the Ohio State House on Thursday to criticize the government's restrictions during the coronavirus outbreak. Which is Columbus, Ohio. Many wore Guy Fox masks over their faces and at least one held a gun. Their signs criticized the governor's stay-at-home order, closure of schools, and shutdown of the economy. My constitutional rights are essential. Ohio dies when government lies. Quarantine the sick, not the Constitution. A free people in a pandemic are still a free people. Well, there you go. But you know what all you fucking sheep are doing right now? You're laying the fuck down, listening to this bullshit, getting all sorts of been out of fucking shape. But you're not doing anything about it. You made a run on fucking toilet paper. Like a bunch of fucking idiots. 
What else? Oh, you're talking all the people into going out and hoarding food, which they don't know how to cook, and all that. Yeah, my hand's kind of shaking because I'm getting a little pissed off. I know this. Let's see. Jobs and Family Services reported that 695,519 residents had submitted jobless claims over the past three weeks. Hmm. Protesters had every right to be there, although he urged them to try not to shout on each other. State's ban on mass gathering includes allowances for expressing First Amendment rights. First Amendment rights. The right to protest as long as you're doing what they claimed. Dun dun dun. Now, if you saw my brother Triple's video earlier, he had an issue with, um, oh, what's her fuck face from Minnesota, or not Minnesota, Michigan. That bitch. Let's pull it up. Because if you haven't seen it, you need to see it. Yeah, now y'all just going to sit here and wait on me while I flip this open. Lost Grimoires of Negromancy. Like, share, subscribe. He has lots of videos. All for your information. But you know what nobody's doing? Nobody's watching them. Y'all was told about this weeks ago. Of what's going to happen. Well, here you go. All right, this is Trip with the Hood Report. And you are now listening to Martial Law 3.3, beginning now. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer bans travel between two residents. Okay, you hear that? That's called Martial Motherfucking Law. Without the military in place. If y'all can't figure this shit out, you don't deserve to have any freedoms or anything else. So if you don't want any freedoms, make sure to put a one in the comments. And I'll go ahead and send your name to whatever state you're from. I guess you need to put your state in there too so I can make sure that they know that you don't want any freedoms anymore. Alright? Have a good one.